Hey everybody, it's Sesame Center Ballistic. Today bringing you another quiz video. Huh, that's really weird. Two days in a row, you know. Uh, this one is actually again by the Nintendo Fan Forever. His link, his link, his channel will be in the description below. Go check him out. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, he's really good at making these quizzes. Actually, there's some pretty good questions on this. So this is a get to know me quiz, as you can tell by the title. And there's about tw there's 12 questions on this, and they're really basically just to n get to know me better, obviously. And yeah, let's start this off. Question number one. What is your name? I think if you... My name is Steve. Yeah, it's Steve. No, I'm just kidding. If, if you don't know my name at this point, I feel like you're just... You're, I don't know, you're kind of dumb. It's kind of in the... In the... The username. I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but... Yeah. Yeah, my name is Sam, obviously. So... Question number two. Have you got a nickname? If so, what is it? And how did you get that nickname? Uh, I would probably say my nickname is S-Man Sam then. Be and I got that. This is a fucking shitty story. I got this username way, way, way ago. I had a friend named Gavin. And he had a YouTube channel called G-Man Gav. And I was like, you know it would be really cool? S-Man Sam. So I did that. And honestly, I'm, I'm going to say this. S-Man Sam sounds way better. I am a fucking genius for taking that idea. Question number three. What is one embarrassing fact about yourself? Uh, I don't know if it's embarrassing, but uh, I cry a lot. Uh, really easy. Like, I cry very easily. Just You can ask Morenia. I kind of cry at anything. Uh, there was a video. I forget what it was called. I think it was called Duet, I think. Uh, and it was like an animated video. It was like a minute and 30 seconds long. And by like 50 seconds, I fucking tear up every time. Uh, there's also a couple songs that will always make me cry. Uh, fuck, what's it called? The Middle? I don't know the band name, but it's uh, The Middle, you know, like, hey, don't let yourself off yet. Like, that song fucking gets me, like, every time I listen to that. Uh, so that's kind of an embarrassing fact. I don't think it's embarrassing to cry a lot, kind of, but at the same time, I think a lot of people take it to be embarrassing, so whatever. Uh, question number four. What is the dumbest thing you've ever done? <sighs> there is a lot of dumb things I have done. I kind of can't pick one. So well, let's go back to grade five. Oh, wait. I want to tell another story, actually. Okay, grade seven or eight. There, And I got off scot free, by the way. It's going to be the best story you're going to hear. So there was this kid that I was kind of. And not in a feud with, I guess. I just didn't like him very much. But he was standing by a fence. And one of my friends was like, You should totally go push that kid. And I was like, Okay, I'll, I'll do it. That's fine. And I, I'll go over to him, I push him down by the fence, he falls over, immediately starts crying. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm in deep trouble. And I run, like, I run away, like, this is during school, so I run away, like, across the field and act like I was never there. I come back, and apparently that kid's ass was ripped open by the, a nail on the fence. So he had to get stitches and a tetanus shot because of me. I literally did not get in trouble though, at all. No repercussions. It was probably, it might have been one of the dumbest things I've ever done. I should not have pushed that kid, I feel very bad. But at the same time, it was so fucking funny. It was so funny, like he, they, they called me and they were like, say you're sorry. And I just looked at him, I'm like, I'm sorry. But like, think about how fucking terrible that is for him. Like he had to get shot, a shot, and he had to get fucking stitches on his ass. Like he has to describe that to people later on in life. Like that's fucking shitty for that kid. Anyway, that might have, that's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Question number five. What type of person are you? Example, nerd, quiet, etc. Uh, I would say I'm a geek in that category. If you know me, uh, you know that I have... I've probably shown my room on Twitter at least 30 times at this point. Uh, I have like literally... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24 posters in my room, all like, there's only one kind of serious one, and uh, the rest are literally just nerd stuff that I love. I also have, uh, if you ever played the game Heroescape, it's kind of like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of game, I guess, but more of like a the board game kind of thing, and I literally have all those standing up on my shelf, all the figures I had from that. I have a Deadpool action figure, I have several things that you could get at the movie theater. Uh, they're from Captain America and Iron Man 3 and The Hobbit Desolation of Smaug. Uh, loved all that, that shit, so I was like, I need to get these collectibles. Uh, 
Yeah, I would definitely say I'm a geek, though, because I have all of this shit in my room, and I'm like, I'm looking at it now, I'm like, why? I literally have a Darth Revan mask that I paid nine, $90 for. Yeah, so I'm I'm in that category, I guess. But uh, I'm, I'm good with it. It's fine. Being a ge geek is probably the best thing that could have happened to me. I don't know why I said that. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, being a geek is the best thing that could have really happened to my personality, because I don't think I'd suit anything else. Uh, like, the way my mind is set is definitely geek like my mindset is the way a geeks would be so question number six what is your favorite pastime probably playing video games and uh doing this stuff doing the uh youtubes as if you uh want to call it that i guess like doing anything that involves gaming youtube anything like that is probably my favorite pastime question number seven the most difficult question what is your favorite food okay i have a lot there is pizza is definitely up there pizza is fucking awesome and i will i would kill for pizza i think like if i could if i had to choose between killing someone or never having pizza again i'd probably kill someone because like whoo that's pizza man uh so i would i'd probably say pizza pizza tacos burgers basically everything that's not good for you question number eight what is your favorite drink uh coke coke okay what is your biggest fear i have a lot of fears i'm kind of a really paranoid kind of person uh probably the biggest fear is death i feel like that's the biggest fear for everybody uh even if they don't admit it everyone has to be afraid of death i think because that's literally the only constant in our lives well there's a, a, a lot of other constants but death is like a huge constant because that is definitely gonna happen to you like other things you're like maybe it's not gonna happen to me there's a chance death is the only thing that's fucking definitely gonna happen to you uh other than that i have a fear I, like i have a minor fear of spiders now it's kind of getting better like i don't really care anymore when i see a spider but if i see a fucking big spider i freak the fuck out uh i guess anything creepy and crawly like that i don't know weird things uh i have a big fear of the dark i bear i cannot really sleep without the tv on in my room because like the dark freaks the fuck out of me because i've i've seen way too many movies about like the monsters in the dark and like creepy shit so i yeah i don't like sleeping with uh without a light source so that i can like see around me if i ever like hear anything uh have you got any pets yep i have two wiener dogs actually and uh, i used to have two lizards and then we kind of gave them away because we weren't caring for them as like we should have so we found we thought that was like a poor thing to do we should not treat these animals terribly we should give them back to like the the pet store where they were from oh have i ever had any other pets i had i've had fish that's that's not really a thing though i mean like you goldfish died in like two days <laughs> nice uh question 11 how old are you i am 17 i'm gonna be turning 18 in january why am i so burpy suddenly like that one sip from coke just fucking made me go like oh uh, yeah, 17 turning 18 January, and yeah, I'm, people think I sound older. I don't know if that's actually a thing or if people are just trying to make me feel better about myself. Is that a compliment to be called older? I think I, I, t I take it as a compliment each time. Like, one guy thought I was 25 at one point. I'm like, what the fuck? I think Nico actually thought I was 21, like, around his age. And I'm like, that's weird, because I'm like fucking seven. I think I was 16 when I talked to Nico, so that's even weirder. Um, final question, where are you from? Uh, most people that know me know that I'm a, a Canadian. I come from British Columbia. The most, well, not most, I guess. There's the Yukon above us, but we're like the most Western country of them all. Co I said country. We're the most Western province of Canada. And I actually live on a particular island. I live on Vancouver Island uh, on British Columbia, which is stupid because there's the city of Vancouver on the mainland, but I'm on, like the island of Vancouver. Man, whoever thought of that's the stupidest person? Anyway, that's all of the questions, so if you guys want to do this, feel free, I think it's really cool. Uh, I'll have the questions in the description, so if you want to make a video of this, do it, of course, because it's fucking awesome. I, I quite enjoy these uh, these quizzes that Ninten the Nintendo Fan Forever makes. Like, you should probably make more of these, because these are really fun to do, actually. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Why am I old, Grandpa Sam? Oh, eep deep a doop a dee it got to do to do no
let's stop. Let's stop right there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.